Hello everybody, Jean here. In this presentation I'll be showing you three similar pyramidal shaped anomalies that I discovered on Mars. I was looking for more pyramidal features following my last video in which I showed you that huge pyramid in Cerberus Palace on Mars. I came across these three features next one another in a region of Mars called Nepenthes Mense. Let's have a look at the photographs and then I'll show you similarities between one of these pyramids and the DNM pyramid in Sardonia, close to the face in Sardonia. The first photograph we're analyzing was taken by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter context camera in 2009-07-06 and we'll be looking at the features highlighted there. So the site highlighted with the pin is located in Nepenthes Mense at approximately 3 degrees 41 minutes north, 121 degrees 53 minutes east. As a crop from that photograph highlighting the two anomalies. And here we are zoomed in a little closer. The side of this pyramidal feature measures approximately four kilometers in length. We've got these four sides. Check that out, folks. Then the other pyramidal feature highlighted there was taken by the context camera in 2007-11-26. Also located in Nepenthes Mense at that site, 3 degrees 41 minutes north, 121 degrees 53 minutes east. As a crop from that photograph, highlighting the pyramidal feature. Check out the close-up. The side of here measures approximately four kilometers in length. And this is the one that looks similar to the DNM pyramid in Sardinia. And here's a collage of the two photographs showing the arrangement and similarity between these anomalies. Also, arranged in a top of a triangular pattern like those three huge pyramids here on earth in Cairo in Egypt. Very interesting. So we'll be looking at the DNM pyramid next. This photograph was taken by the context camera in 2007-04-05. The face is located roughly there folks. The DNM pyramid and the face located in Sidonia at that site at approximately 40 degrees 21 minutes north, 9 degrees 33 minutes west. As a crop from that photograph, there's the face and the DNM pyramid. The side measures approximately 2,500 meters in length. It's also got sort of five sides to it. All these pyramidal features are highly eroded and look as if they date from roughly the same time period. Here's the DNM pyramid to the left and the larger pyramid of the three I showed in the beginning Check out the similarity here, yeah, folks. Who knows? What's going on here? Let's have a chat in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think of these features. Right, let's go up to Sidonia and check out that pyramid as well as the well-known face. Let's switch on the CTX layer. We can get a better view. 
uh, check that artifact. There's the DNM pyramid. And then the face. Let's just switch off that overlay. So let's have a closer look at this. That side is approximately 2.5 kilometers in length. And then from the top to the bottom, about 4.2 kilometers in length and finally let's have a look at those three similar features in Nepenthes Mensae context and zoom out a bit but even there in this region Nepenthes Mensae let's switch on the CTX mosaic. There the three features are. You can see they stick out like saw fingers in this region. There's nothing else like them. And what's intriguing is the next one another in a triangular pattern. So just for reference side is approximately four kilometers in length. Yet again we ask the question could these be remnants, remains of an ancient civilization on Mars where the structures were destroyed in the distant past or are we looking at features created by some other weird geological process on Mars? I look forward to reading your comments as always. Thanks for watching.